This is a, a descriptive weakening question. Argument is um, vulnerable criticism on the grounds that it does something really bad. So let's see. Uh, to prove to prove that a Super XL vacuum cleaner is better than your old vacuum cleaner, I ran your old vacuum cleaner once over the sturdy carpet. Okay, uh, and then I ran the Super XL over the same area. What? Okay, just stop reading. Like, what? I'm not interested anymore. Just get the fuck out of my house. Like, what are you gonna? Like, how could this possibly show anything? Right? Like. I, one carpet, dirty carpet. You ran it once over with my old vacuum. It already cleaned it, and then you ran this area over again with the Super XL. That's not you gotta like, right? You gotta like take two carpets equally dirty, and then run it once over with the old. Run it once with your Super XL, and then measure, you know, which one is cleaner. That's a test, right? I mean, I mean, I can, I can like, I suppose I can imagine other tests, but like what what you did would not be one of those things I could imagine. So all that dirt the Super XL picked up is the dirt your old vacuum left behind. That's true. I mean, yeah, of course, right? Like it didn't, unless in the like intervening seconds, new dirt accumulated somehow. But it does not prove anything. Proving that the Super XL is a better vacuum. Wow, you are stupid. All right. Well, I guess we still have to like sort of describe why this this person is either like just actually really stupid or trying to scam us. I can't tell. Um. Okay, so A says, ignores the possibility that uh, dirt remained in the carpet even after suit. Yeah, sure, but that's not why this argument's weak. Right? I mean, like, A is saying, look, oh, your old old carpet, uh, rather vacuum, ran it once through, and Super XL ran it uh, once through, right? Oh, there might still be dirt remaining. Yeah, that's true, but that's got nothing to do with this argument, right? I mean, I suppose the argument does ignore this possibility, Right, does ignore this possibility, but that's not why this this argument is, is bad. Takes for granted that Super XL will still perform better than the old when it is the same age as the old. I don't know that it does assume this. I don't think that. I mean, as stupid or immoral as the salesperson is, I don't think this is an error that the salesperson committed. Right, because there's no mention of uh, lasting a very long time as one of the reasons cited for uh, Super XL being better. Right, so B is also not right. Takes for granted that because the Super XL outperforms one cleaner is better than no. This is just, I mean, this is also just it's to prove that the Super is better than your old vacuum, right? It the comparison is direct. It's nobody's trying to compare against like uh, all other cleaners. So D and E are the attractive ones. Um, well, E being right, uh, D. Let's take a look at why D's wrong. Ignores the possibility that the amount of dirt removed in the test by the old is greater than the amount of dirt removed by the Super XL. See. This, I think the reason D is wrong is because it doesn't ignore this possibility, right? Like, it could be okay. I mean, if you told a salesperson, oh, look at the uh, chamber of my old, right, old vacuum. Look at the chamber of your, uh, what is this, XL vacuum, right? Look, it's got this much dirt. Yours only has this much dirt. He'd be like, this this person would be like, yeah, okay. I never said that your old, rem- but your old vacuum had the first go at it when dirt was easy to pick up, right? I had to pick up the all that dirt, all that dirt over here, right, that you left behind, that your old vacuum left behind, and that's what proves that uh, this is the better vacuum, right? You see, the, just the mere fact that you, you, old, left behind some dirt, right, that supposedly proves, I mean, we know it doesn't, right? That's why D, it's it's not D. It's not about, like, the amount of dirt, right? And look at how, look at what E says. I, I know, like, D just on its own is hard to eliminate, right? But, you know, that that's why you eliminate but... I think E is probably your clue that um, this is the superior answer. And I don't, I don't want to say, like, there is just one right answer choice, right? But what I'm saying is that uh, if, you just, if you just cannot eliminate D, uh, like, let E help you eliminate D. Ignores the possibility that if uh, the XL had been used first, right? If, if we just flip the order around, that it would have left behind just as much dirt as the old one did, right? That's right. See, if, you're, if your argument, salesperson, is that, is, is that just because the dirt was left behind for a second vacuum to pick up, right, which that, that is your argument, then you've ignored this possibility. That if you had used this one first and this one second, yeah, I mean, you could have left behind just as much dirt, right? That's why E is the correct answer.